As Russian attacks escalate and reach the capital, many are still in the city of Kyiv. Some want to stay and fight. Others haven't found a way to leave. One family from Kyiv was able to find safety right in the nick of time, just hours before the attacks intensified this weekend. Tonight, CBS4's Joel Waldman spoke to a wife and mother who, like many refugees from Ukraine, is counting the days to see the place and people she loves once again. To protect his family, this loving father has to turn the hard truth into a simple game. Life is Beautiful, the 1999 Academy Award winning film about a father turning the horrors of the Holocaust into a game has become a form of art imitating life for some young children traumatized by the war in Ukraine, the most innocent of victims. I'm telling her, okay, he will uh, one day and oh, maybe we will come back. We will just travel for a while, see the world and then uh, we will come back home. Mom Victoria Kovalova playing her own game of pretend with two and a half year old daughter Sophia after they left Ukraine with only each other and a change of clothes. Too afraid to tell us where they are now, other than to say they're safe with a friend in Europe. My husband is, is a pilot, a civil pilot, and every time she sees the plane in the sky, she says, oh, this is my daddy, he's, he's going to pick me up. Uh, and um, I'm telling her, okay, he will. Dad Artem, a commercial pilot in Ukraine, and the rest of Sophia's family, unable to escape the reality of war, only communicating virtually for now. The most difficult scene, obviously, when uh, we have a, a video chat and she kisses her father and when we stop and she says, let's go back, I want to mm -mm, kiss, kiss my daddy and kiss my grandparents. It's just heartbreaking. Victoria trying her best to be like Roberto Benigni's character in Life is Beautiful, but we all know life is a lot more messy than the movies. I felt really broken and I started crying in front of her and she was confused. She didn't know what to do and mommy was going on, what's going on. A question with no good answer right now as this protective mom gets peppered with even more questions from her puzzled, perplexed, precious little girl. When we were on our way here, uh, my daughter uh, asked me, where is our daddy? I want to come back. When are we going to come back to Kyiv? Uh, I want to play with my toys, uh, toys. I want to play with the dogs of my grandma and grandpa. Mom Victoria, despite the horror of war, hopeful for that Hollywood ending. Love, family, and imagination conquer all. If there is no hope, there is no life. So I always hope and I always hope for better and I pray. Uh, I, I'm a religious person. I believe in God and I, I do believe that um, everything uh, will become over soon. We're all wishing the best for mom Victoria and her daughter Sophia. She is begging NATO for a no fly zone over Ukraine. She says sanctions are not working and too many young children and adults are dying needlessly. Joel Waldman, CBS 4 News tonight.